The LA City Council is looking for a way forward amid the growing scandal. The city's first Latina council president and two other councilmen are under pressure to resign over racist comments heard in a leaked audio recording. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at City Hall where protesters have descended again on today's meeting. Cara. Yeah, and Amy, once again, a packed chamber council here and very, very loud at times. Uh, giving you a look at some of the folks uh, here holding up signs, we understand that none of the three council members being asked to resign are here today. Uh, at times it has gotten so loud that the quorum that is here uh, just has decided to shut things down. And that's exactly what this crowd wants. They want to shut things down, they say, until there are three resignations. Listen to what we heard a short while ago. So this council has continued to call recess. This is the second regularly scheduled council meeting since the leak of that audio with racist and crude remarks on it. The city council members here say they are taking action to censor their colleagues who were recorded during that strategy meeting over redistricting, but they and a growing chorus of other local and state leaders are also calling on them to resign. A chorus that, by the way, now also includes President Joe Biden. Very unusual. All right, take a look. We are talking about council members Kevin de Leon, Nuri Martinez, and Gil Cedillo. After that audio leak Sunday, Martinez stepped down from the presidency, then took a leave of absence from her council seat. De Leon and Cedillo have issued apologies only. We have, again, not seen them here today. We are told they are not present and also not taking part virtually. They were here briefly yesterday. Now back here live, Councilman Mike Bonin, who has been at the center of all of this, also not here today. We are told he is taking part virtually. Um, his son, of course, uh, who is black, was called a little monkey in Spanish on those audio tapes. He said he was extremely distraught. We understand he has now tested positive for COVID. So that is why uh, we are being told he is not here today as well. So right now we are in recess, Amy. They are trying to move things forward. Uh, one of the staffers came by and talked with us just moments ago saying they have a quorum. There is some reform. They want to push ahead. They have things they need to get done. Uh, but at this point, everything kind of on hold. We'll keep you posted throughout the morning. All right, Cara, thank you for that.